It's time, time to get rolling here with the perfect health paraliminal. This to me is one of the most important paraliminals you could ever listen to. And there are several reasons why that's the case. First of all, think about the three most important things you absolutely can't buy. Can't buy time, can't buy love, you can't buy health, no matter how much money you have. And if you don't have one of those, it's hard to enjoy the other two. And certainly uh, there are many people who work very hard to get a lot of time and have lost their health on the way to getting it. So let's talk about what is perfect health. If you could think about a scale where zero is the absence of illness. Illness would be minus one to minus 10. And wellness would be plus one to plus 10. So our goal is to be on a high level of wellness. Now, from time to time, the body is going to go through situations in which it needs to recover from a difficult situation. It might have been activity, it might have been an accident of some kind, it might have been an illness, it might have been a surgery that occurred. And one of the things that the medical profession has understood for a long time is if your emotions and if your mindset is in the right place, everything about the physical body is going to get on the mend much faster. So think about the way in which your human neurophysiology is constructed. We've got a body, we've got emotions, we've got a mind and thoughts that we think, but all those are what you have. It's not who you are. So who you are as the executor, as the executive function of all of this, it rests on you to be very clear about what your mindset is, what emotions you're choosing to feel. And I want to underscore this. Sometimes you will have a feeling that you just landed on you. Or you might be in a mood that just occurred for you but you do have the choice to shift it. And taking responsibility for that, being responsive and having an ability to make a shift is really key. Paraliminal technology is what helps us do that and perfect health, especially important around our physical and emotional well-being. So if you think about the most ancient part of the brain, the reptilian complex, is sort of in, in tune with the autonomic nervous, the enteric nervous systems, and it is associated with the automatic functions of the body, breath, heartbeat, and so on. And that is surrounded by the emotional brain, the limbic system or the mammalian complex. And when we have an emotion, boom, it's right all over the physical body. So if you're dealing with a stressful situation, it's important that you don't allow yourself to hang out in negative emotional states for very long. If you do, you have to, you have to shift it as quickly as possible. I say it's fine to have anger and fear and jealousy and rage and all of that. It's perfectly okay to have those for about 10 or 15 seconds, but then get out of it. Those are designed to motivate you to take a shift, to make a move, to do something different. So don't allow yourself to hang out in those emotional states. Now that mammalian complex or limbic system is surrounded by the neocortex. That is what we call the thinking part of the brain. Your thoughts affect your emotions, your emotions affect the body. And it also goes the other way along. Your physiology, the way you hold yourself, is going to affect your affective state, your emotions. So if you walk around like this, you're going to notice 
that that's going to have an effect on your emotions and it's also going to have an effect on your thinking. So you're in a cybernetic relationship. Everything that you think has an effect on everything else. Everything you feel has an effect on your thinking and body. Everything in your body has an effect on your thinking and your emotions. So to get it straight, the perfect health paraliminal really brings you into that sweet spot where you have a choice and can make a difference. Now, this uh, the original concept of the perfect health paraliminal was inspired by the many years of spectacular results I saw of spontaneous healing as a result of positive thinking and feeling states. And I wrote about several of those in my Natural Brilliance book. I also uh, described a number of these in my Abundance for Life program. The concept behind the spontaneous healing of degenerative conditions of the physical body, uh, death sentences by the doctors, and terrible brain injuries, and and diseases and accidents and all kinds of things. Stunning what the human body and brain are capable of doing. And I think it's important for all of us to be able to study what happened for these people that had this tremendous shift from what would take anyone else out, they recovered from it. How? What was going on? And if you study their internal process, you'll discover exactly what is inside of this perfect health paraliminal. In addition, the concepts of Dr. Paul Pearsall's work in superimmunity is brought into this program. Superimmunity is saying that in the physical body, we have a very well-tuned immune system. And it's incumbent upon us to make sure that that stays very strong. If something lands on us, if we're feeling the early warning signals of some kind of illness coming on, it's important that we get into a relaxed state, envision the physical body, and become aware of areas of hot and cold. What Dr. Pearsall said in his book, Super Immunity, is what we want to do is take those hot spots and cool them down to warm and take those cold spots and heat them up to warm or heat them up to cool. So we don't have cold and we don't have hot. We have a more neutral state in which the body can do its best work. Now, do medical doctors heal us or are they using an art and science to facilitate the body's natural healing response you see the body has perfect integrity so if something knocks us off state we want to give it whatever props would be necessary to, to get it back in state to get it into an alignment, what I would call a dynamic equilibrium. That's going to allow the body to do its best work. Working in the field of dentistry, medicine, uh, working with natural doctors, homeopathy, uh, chiropractors, what we know is that there are ways in which the body is going to adapt when it gets thrown off. So what we can do to help it will give it the opportunity to do its best work. So the visualization inside of this perfect health paraliminal is to imagine your body in front of you and then to go step up to it and go over it and use your hands and find hot and cold spots. So any cold spot, we warm up to cool. Any hot spots, we cool down to warm. And just directing your awareness there is quite helpful. But simultaneously, while you're doing that, the perfect you, perfect health, 10 high-level wellness, scale of 10 plus, 
is they're also doing the same work on you. And then one of the metaphors that we use during the change work part of the paraliminal is that of a master tuner, piano tuner, getting the harmonics and the resonances just right. Now, modern science has suggested that it's germ theory that causes illness, that we have germs in this area, that's what caused the illness. And what the ancient philosophies have shown is that germs are always in us. They're always around us. It's what causes those germs or viruses to proliferate in that area. And then what they say is what's causing it is energy flow. If there's a blockage of some kind in a stream, imagine that stream flowing, and there's a blockage of some kind that's stopping that flow, we're going to have two types of problems. A problem of too much water on one side of the block in the stream, and a problem of not enough water on the lower side of the block in that stream. So we need to be able to remove that block and get that harmonious flow to go again. Your mind can help that occur. And so you become, in essence, the master tuner. Now, in the Taoist traditions, they talk about organ systems and they talk about 12 meridians within the body, all kinds of acupuncture, acupressure points. It's stunning if you have an opportunity to study any of it. It's absolutely mind-boggling how much wisdom there is there. Well, they've been studying it for 5,000 years compared to a few hundred that we've been studying it. And when you look at uh, the Himalayan tradition of Ayurvedic medicine, again, a 5,000-year-old system, they talk about the cities, these capabilities within us, and they talk about the nadi channels. And these nadis, there's five different channels that are going within the body. I don't know if you've ever seen these instruments that they play, like uh, the sitar. There's another one that rests on a couple of gourds. It's called a humso. There is this uh, large instrument, and they play it with stones, and there's five strings. Each one of the strings represents one of those energy channels. And by playing these ragas, these long pieces of music, they're actually designed to resonate to those energy channels within you to open them and get them to flow. Your meditation, the chanting that you do, it's all vibrational energy intended to have you operate at a high level of wellness. I'm not going to advocate for any one system. All of them are important. Allopathic medicine, Western science, fabulous in all kinds of emergency situations. We definitely need all of those approaches and consider all the complementary and alternative approaches as well. What do they have to say about creating high-level wellness? And keep in mind that the internet isn't necessarily the best place to find out good information. It's where a lot of people upload all kinds of theories and philosophies. If you look at the ancient philosophies and you go with very skilled practitioners, you're going to increase your knowledge base. The good news is with the perfect health paraliminal, just to close your eyes for 20 minutes and go within, you get that tune up and your body and mind begin to work together to move you not only to a neutral place if you're in a place of illness, but then in a positive way to high-level wellness. So my wish for you is that you get to that high level of wellness and maintain it for all the days of your life. And you should know that someday we're all going to go home, right? We're all going home, but we don't have to be sick <laughs> to get there. 
we can just allow ourselves when it's time to leave this physical mortal coil for that true energy essence that we are. And in the meanwhile, let's have a high level of wellness, the ability to recover from any setback, the ability to keep our immune system strong, to be able to adapt to whatever shows up. Enjoy this day. Hope you get out in nature and we'll see you again at our next session. Peace and blessings.